Okay, we're at the penultimate. I think it's the penultimate. Second to last penultimate. Yes, I think so. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> two videos left with this. And this, strangely, is, um, how do you say his name properly? Is it, um, I probably say the first bit wrong, but Sir? So, uh, something like that? I apologise. <laughs> I was expecting him to be the last stage in the game, just because he's a mystic, and it makes much more sense to me. But you'll see who we've got last in the next video. Should be pretty obvious by now, but I'm not going to say who it is until that video. This is a pretty long video because the battle took me forever to do because I was pretty weak. Well, I felt weak at least. But it was fun. I went, <coughs> excuse me. I went with the, um, the horsehair whip for his second weapon because the moveset just makes sense for a mystic type person to have. Has brought us together. So Shall here we go, we let's see. Again, for me. I shall place the altars that serve as the source of my power in Shu Chan. The first one shall go here. And now I need to find two other locations. As far as I can remember, all of the um the square attacks. So I think that's X on the Xbox. Um, all of those, just the basic string of attacks, are exactly the same as they were in Demon's Warriors 5 and in all the Orochi games. But unfortunately, they decided to get rid of all of the awesome charge moves he had, and I put new ones in. And I really, really, really missed the lasers so much. Like, the lasers were like the best thing, but then they kind of made be made him like super overpowered so I guess that's why they removed them. It's still pretty fun to play as, it still looks cool. I just miss lasers. I am happy to find such a worthy opponent. I shall deal with that one myself. It's some kind of sorcery. He still has the same Musu for well, his normal Musu. But obviously it's not infinite like they used to be. Did you think so? My presence has been discovered. Never mind. I shall just have to move a little quicker. I'm not sure if this stage is exclusive to him, or if it appears elsewhere in the game. Because I don't really remember this layout, but it could be that if it is someone else's stage as well, that it's like you start in an opposite position like at the top rather than the bottom so that's why I don't quite remember it but if anyone knows if it is because I'm kind of too lazy to look <laughs> don't even tell me if you follow unfortunately it takes quite a while for me to beat a lot of the, um, the officers because for whatever reason I've got weak weapons and even though he's like I think he has everything unlocked that you can unlock through leveling. It just doesn't seem to be very effective to me. But then this is one of like the later stages, so it's got more difficulty to do it and stuff, so I don't know. I shall return after reviewing my strategy. I simply do as the fates require of me. Oh yeah, he does still have some lasers, I forgot about him. That's only in the switch attack though, unfortunately. It's better than nothing. Security 
you have here. There is only one of me, and yet you show no mercy. I have no idea what the X attack is supposed to do, it just seems to do like a fiery charge forward. Doesn't seem particularly effective for anything. And when I kept jumping like this, I'm so, I'm so used to in the Orochi games, he's a speed character so he can do the air, uh, T jump cancel stuff. I guess they just try to make him slightly more uh, challenging to use, I guess maybe is the right way of looking at it. I don't know for sure. I thought that was quite funny that I was in the um the I'm forgetting the names of everything right now. The um Storm Rush, that's what it's called, that's it. I thought it was funny that I was in a storm rush and I still managed to get shot by the ballista. Hang on, is that the thing? Yes. I do find it quite um, strange how easily the um, the siege weapons get destroyed. Normally, like, well, I guess that's more of a Dennis Rose Five thing as well. The, the siege weapons always seem to have so much HP. Do we call it HP still? I don't even know anymore. But it used to take forever to whittle them down, and it's just like now you can hit them one, two hits, and that's that's it. They're they're destroyed. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, humans are much more squishy, right? So you'd think. <laughs> oh, never mind me and my silly ideas. I don't think I wasted a lot of time killing the peons this time. If I say that, and I don't look into sex when I do. Oh, the X attack speeds you up a bit. I probably noticed that when I was playing, but... So there we go, that's what the X attack's really for, it's to speed your moves up a little bit, and I think it um, adds a slight increase in attack. I think that's the R1... Mosu? That's the Air Mosu. The air Musu is really lame. What I would have done for the air Musu for him is that I would have had him um, throw the cards out, but then I'd have them like spin around, and you could like move around in the air for a couple of seconds or something, like you know towards the enemy. So it'd be similar to his ground Musu, but like instead of them being like directly around him, they'd be much further out. Particularly annoyed by the archers. I think the rage is pretty cool. Now, to conquer Shu Chang, it 
appears that Sal P is currently in charge of Oh, that little hop, that little hop that I do backwards is, um, because the two weapons he has are the, I believe they refer to them as Shadow Spring. Basically, when you get attacked, like, uh, when, um, attacks are coming to you, if you press X whilst having one of those weapons, and you've obviously got the highest proficiency with it, um, you just do a little hop back. I think the main idea is obviously to stop you from getting hit so much, and um, then you can counter kind of thing. But it's only got so much effect to it, and I think it's kind of a waste. But that's just because I've never experimented with it in terms of like creating combos and stuff, because it probably does help with that kind of thing. He's been brought back from the dead by me. I think that the story in this is pretty cool. And I think it's all based on the um Of course it's all based on the book what I'm on about. Never mind. I think I was just wasting time around here. Probably. I think all the moves on the horse are exactly the same as they used to be, so that's good. I'm just saying stuff as I think of it, as usual. <laughs> It was of course not my intention to spam that thing over and over again, it just happens. You don't really have very much control apart from swapping your weapon. And at least it helps kill them quickly. Now I believe I have the fun task of not realising at first what I needed to do. I was just like, I need to destroy these first. And then I realised, oh dear, where did those things go? Where are they going? And then it's like, well, I need to turn around. So I decided to go for the closest one first, because obviously it makes more sense. And then I had fun trying to catch up to the other one. And then I was panicking right here, thinking, oh no. Because everyone knows how it fast those engineers can work sometimes, right? It's ridiculous. And these archers annoyed me so much. The archers are definitely a pain in this game. Yeah. 
Thankfully they only sent two engineers out and I didn't have to go in any further than this. And now from here it's pretty straightforward, I think we'll just go and kill everyone off. So it was pretty fun for me to play this, but it was a little bit tedious in places because I just kind of wanted to carry on and go forwards and you have to go back, so... <laughs> I don't know if I could have gone the other way on my screen that I'm looking at right now. I can't tell if the doors are locked or not. There might be. Don't you hate it when you have like the tiniest sliver of health left? Listen here, you pathetic conjurer. I am bringing an end to your quest to immerse Shu Chong in chaos. Sao P was very clever there and somehow evaded the entire rage. So it made it slightly longer than it needed to be. Tell me, sorcerer, why is it that you hate Wei so passionately? Because you're evil. I seek to help Liu Bei realize his land of benevolence. That is why I must bring an end to your ambition. Yay! One video left. 